Hello, I am Black Bright and I am talking about a very delicate subject today. First of all, let me thank all my subscribers, my supporters and um, all the people who have liked my videos, who send me emails, some of you send me pages and pages. I don't know why you write such long emails. I mean, why do you write such long emails? Anyway, um, yeah, let's um, get back to the topic of hand. And it's, somebody sent me this video. You know Danny Baker, he got sacked from the BBC because he um, had this photograph up of a well-dressed couple and a chimpanzee all suited and booted in a top hat and the caption was royal baby leaves the hospital now for any black person seeing that it's an insult he claims he didn't know Meghan Markle was mixed race. I don't see how he cannot know Meghan Markle was mixed race unless he's been in a dark box underneath the ground somewhere. But that's neither here nor there. You know, for anybody, regardless of whether it's Meghan Markle or anyone else, it's an insult to the parent or to the parents to put a chimpanzee on social media and say the royal baby has left the hospital. How else can that be interpreted? Now, he's now going around saying, oh, I'm not a racist, you know, and all his little friends are saying, oh, he hasn't got a racist bone in his body. But, you know, sometimes when they talk about, um, another guy said, does feeling become fact? And a lot of times when you're in a situation at work, put racism aside and somebody upsets you or they say something, they used to say sticks and stones don't break my bones, but names will never hurt me. And you get people who, you know, who jibe at you all the time. And as much as you try to um, say it doesn't matter, oh, I'm going to dismiss it, you know, you have a feeling inside that makes you feel uncomfortable. And that's what happens. That's why it's a fact. The fact, because a feeling is real. And when you find people reacting like that, that feeling is real. It's like if every time um, you passed a white person, they used to call them trailer trash or honky or you know to me I think they were mild names in you know by comparison but those were the kind of words that they used to use back in the day until you know we became politically correct and we couldn't use them but the fact of the matter is is that words are still used and they still carry um, a feeling when they are used the same way as pictures now and in 2017, I don't know how many of you will remember this, but in China, they put up an exhibition and they compared Africans to animals. The fact that the animals look nothing like the Africans was neither here nor there. It was the inference. And it's the inference why Africans and black people took offence. Because, you know, it's almost like constant relegation to animals and I'm not quite sure whether as black people we should take the bait or react to it because it's it's such a ridiculous comparison or whether it is something that you know you need to address because to be honest when I saw when I saw that picture of the chimpanzee with the two royal couples with that caption, I thought, absolutely ridiculous. Who would be stupid enough to do that? And how insulting is that for Meghan Markle? Now, that was my reaction. I'm going to show you um, something that came from, I think it's the members of the BBC, they're interviewing someone, and they don't understand why his um, picture 
why he was sacked for putting that picture because he's not really racist they're saying it's accidental racism it's not intentional racism and all of this stuff so i'm just going to show you a small a small clip I've, I've thought a lot over this, and I can see how upset you are, and I'm very sorry that you're upset about this. But, but, yeah, but do, do you think that if someone, let me ask you a question. In this job, we, we all live, you know, on radio, on a television. We're all capable, you know, we live in fear of cocking it up, of saying something that, well, I do. I live in fear of saying the wrong thing, and, and it offends somebody that I didn't mean <clears throat> to offend. I asked you before, do you think it's right that he loses his career over this? Having I don't think he will lose his career. Let me, let, let's give that for a second. And I'll take on, of course, then after we can give it. I don't think he will lose his career because he's a supremely talented man. Yes. He was stupid. He was crass. Yes, unpardonable. He was. it was undoubtedly a racist. What I find extraordinary is this a man who has done some great product and I admire him and I, he's beaten me to awards on many occasions and well done to him. He works for a station that's all about news and sport. Yeah. He doesn't know who Meghan Markle is. He doesn't know that she's mixed race. He didn't know which that's princess stupid. or duchess had that's the baby. Ridiculous. And he doesn't know about the problem yes. of racism in sport and football. No. no I think that's the point. What do you think it was? And that's the point. It was a mistake. We've got to stop being cowardly about this debate. I, thought, I really respect what your feelings what you said. But there is a difference between principle and how people feel. People feel very aggrieved by this and they have the right to. That doesn't make him a racist. It makes him stupid. Yes. Now, if... At the end of the day, uh, if we're going to encourage that kind of world where feelings equal fact, there was a professor uh, uh, in Harvard, the first African-American uh, dean of the Faculty of Law, just this week was sacked by Harvard because feelings equal fact for people today. And I feel as strongly about this as you do because I've fallen victim to this kind of thinking. He was sacked. Why? Because he agreed as a law professor... I wanted to show that because I can't, I can only show a certain amount of um, text before it becomes breaching copyright or something. So I can only show, I think, three minutes. And I wanted to show you another part of this. But, you know, it's really difficult um, to try to make white people understand where black people are coming from they cannot understand it's a what you know they try to understand or they want us to explain it but they want us to explain it so we can get exasperated and frustrated and angry because it's something you cannot explain if you are not black you can't explain it it's a feeling it's 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 not, you know, I don't know what kind of things white people have. They might have something that's exclusive to them that they find difficult to explain. But racism is one of those things that is unexplainable. You have to be in it to know what it feels like. So putting them into a position and it's almost like... Um, it's not like a mockery. You know, you never quite know whether or not... Um, when these people are asking these questions, whether they're doing it deliberately to rise you or whether they are totally ignorant of, of what they're saying. I never quite know whether or not they are genuinely um, confused about the whole thing and genuinely don't understand it or whether it's one of those, you know, insidious ploys to make somebody feel stupid because they can't explain themselves very well and they can't explain that feeling that only a black person feels. You try to explain that to somebody, you've got a chip on your shoulder. Oh, you're taking it out of context. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, he's not really being um, racist. You're overreacting and it's constant that constant kind of diminishing of feelings and the way people feel. Anyway, I'm going to go back a bit because I want you to hear what Afua says. Because also Afua, again, I, I understand Not this guy, I don't want to hear him, uh, uh, but he understands it because he's saying he's racism. he's been through yeah, racism. Question, anyway. Carol, you know, my issue is that everybody makes the person who does the racist thing victim. So you're up no. right that he was no. sacked. Greg's saying he's a nice guy, he's, he's going to lose his job. You know, how is he the victim in this scenario? This is a pregnant woman who had to arrange new levels of protection because of the amount of racist abuse she was receiving, which escalated when she announced she was pregnant. She's always had 
racist abuse. But when she announced her pregnancy, it multiplied because there is so much toxic racism in our society. That's not Danny Baker's fault. That's yes. not Danny Baker's fault. But what is Danny Baker's fault is that he did something which was so offensive that when I first saw it, I actually thought it was a prank. I just thought nobody, nobody who the BBC gives a platform she could be stupid enough to say this and not intend it to be racist because it is one of, and we could talk about unintended racism or microaggressions. This is none of those. This is the most blatant, clear cut example of racism is that generations of people have recognized this as an overtly racist trope. Within people's lifetimes, black people were still being compared to monkeys and dehumanized regularly. So the is right. So I'm not interested in him. I'm not interested in him or what happens to him. By the way, he's already done a show which was more successful than his previous shows since he's been sacked. So if you're worried about his career, then I suspect... No one's worried about his career. I'm not interested in him. So you can see, it is quite heated, and I mean, she is trying to explain it to people who just cannot understand. She's wasting her energy. And so, um, it is very, very difficult. It, you know, what can I say? You know, you try to, um, I think, to be honest, I think that was a deliberate um, dig at Meghan Markle. Do you see? They don't. They don't like the idea. I mean, he's saying he didn't even know who Meghan Markle was. What a load of codswallop! He could have said anything but that. How can you not know who Meghan Markle is? And you're on the bloody BBC. I mean, what a load of codswallop. Then he says he doesn't know she was mixed race. Now, all of those things, to me, it, it, you know, he has no integrity as far as I'm concerned. If he'd owned up to it and said, look, you know, I was just messing around. You know, it's, you know, I thought, you know, I'll just stick a monkey on there. I always put monkeys on. And then if he showed, he reckons it's something he does all the time. He puts um, celebrities in monkey suits. Well, show the, men, the celebrities in monkey suits then. So that people can see that this is a part of who you are. But don't say you don't know who Meghan Markle is and you don't know she's mixed race. And you're on the BBC for Christ's sake. And that's what makes it even more infuriating. But sometimes I think that these things are designed to make us angry. And that's why I'm not rising to it. And, you know, I don't think any of us should rise to it. Poor Afua, she's in there. She reckons every time there's a race issue, they call her in. And she's fed up of it and frustrated trying to explain herself each time. I wouldn't even explain. I wouldn't go on the show, to be honest. Because you cannot explain yourself. We are, everybody's an individual. It's like, put the race aside for a, a moment. You find these people who are transgender or homosexual. They're trying to explain their feelings and who they are to other people who cannot understand. People who are disabled. How can they explain what it's like to be disabled to somebody who's not? People who are blind, how can they explain what blindness is not like to somebody who's not blind? And it's the same thing with being black. You cannot explain it to a white person because they do not understand. They just have this um, myopic um, vision. It's not like a tunnel vision of what black people are. It's gone down the centuries. I can't generalise and say this applies to all white people, but there's a section of white people who just cannot get away from their primitive thinking of how they believe black people are. And it's because they have to keep that image in their mind in order to feel safe. They have to belittle and demean in order to prop themselves up. The only people who do that are people who are insecure, people who are afraid, people who, who haven't got no kind of self-esteem. Because who would do that, regardless of whose baby it is? Why would you do that? That's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.